Hi guys, welcome to our new topic. In this video, we will be talking about the RGB module or what we called red, green, blue LED light. So let's start first with the definition. Then also this video, I will be showing you two examples. So what is the definition of the RGB module? Aside from understanding what the, um, what the LED light can offer, um, RGB module can basically create many colors and also it can affect in our project. So by using the colors red, green, and blue, we can actually combine um, a lot of colors based on these colors available. Okay, so if you can see, we have four pins. Um, this pin, the first pin from the left, um, this is the red one. The next, it's our ground. So basically, it should be connected to our GNB in our Arduino. Okay, after that, this is green and this is blue. You can also see it here. Okay, so in Tinkercad, let me open first my Tinkercad. Hopefully, you can see it. Okay. In Tinkercad, let me click create a new circuit. Let me double check if we can find the RGB here. Yep. So, RGB LED light is actually present. So, for this one, you can see the turbine, uh, or sorry, the tail from the leftmost. It's actually, this is for red. This one is for cathode or for our negative charge. Next, this is for blue. And last, from um, actually, it's on the rightmost. This is for our green. But in here, it's different. Let's just focus on the... I'm sorry. Uh, we will just rely on the Tinkercad itself because that's actually the one that we will be using okay so let's proceed proceed to our presentation one moment okay let's go back so right now I'll be showing you two examples for RGB module first um, I will be showing you an example in changing colors basically um, I will show you how to change seven colors using our RGB module okay so let's get started so first things first I need to get the Arduino breadboard here it should be there then one moment I need to adjust this one one moment Mm -hmm. Okay, there you go. Okay, next thing that I need to do, uh huh, I need to put that one here. Let me flip it. It should be here. No, okay. Sorry. There you go. There. So, after that one, I'll go ahead and put the GND or the ground here in the negative pole of our breadboard. One moment. I'll be changing this one to color black as a black wire. Next thing that you need to do, um, I'll go ahead and assign um, a resistor to our in this part in the cathode part of the RGB so let me go ahead and look for resistor it's actually at the bottom here let me flip it one moment and I'll be assigning that one here okay next um, the, um, I will be using um, digital pin number 9 for this one and this should be in our red 
in our red pole, uh, sorry, in our red pin for our red tail. So I'll be changing this one as well to red so that I will be notified that this um, that this tail is intended only for red. Next, it's blue. So 10. I'll be assigning 10 to blue. One moment. So I'll be changing the color of the wire to blue. And lastly, 11. So for 11, oh, sorry. Let me double check this one. I think it should be here. There. I'm really sorry for this one, but I need to change so that you can see it. One moment. Mm -hmm. This one, it should be here since that's blue. There. And lastly, this is for green. So I'll be assigning digital input 11 to be in green. In green tail of our RGB. And I'll be changing the color of the wire to green. Here we go. Sorry. One moment. Here. Okay. So I think that's all set but I think it's better okay here um, I will be showing you some effect because basically um, in lead light we only need to have one uh, we need uh, we, we need only to have one resistor so that it will work and it will not um, break our LED light but for um, RGB we need to have three resistor since it caters three different colors, mainly colors, three different, um, uh, mainly three colors, so red, green, and blue. So that's why I will be adjusting that one here, and I'll be putting the resistor here, copy that. That one, that's for red. This is for um, blue, for green, and lastly, for our, uh, of course, uh, we will not be inserting any, um, any, uh, any resistor for our um, cathode anymore, since we already have three resistors for um, different colors in, of our pin, of our tail of the, of the RGB module. So next, I need to put that one here. I'll be changing this one to black. There we go. So since I'm already done with, with the connect, sorry, with the connection, let me start by creating, uh, let me start creating my code. So first thing that I need to do, of course, one moment here, um, I need to initialize my red. I use red 9, digital pin 9, then blue, I use um, 10, um, and um, green, I use 11. Okay, there. For our void setup, for this one, of course, I need to pin mode our red to be the output. One moment. Then blue for output still and also green. There we go. So let's go ahead and proceed with the um, function loop. So inside the function loop, uh, I need to start first um, to make sure that all of the li uh, sorry, all of the pins are off so first thing that i need to do digital right i need to type digital right then red i'll make it low i'll copy that one 
another one. This is green. This is blue. And I need to do, I need to put some delay for one second. Okay, here. So basically the purpose of this one is to off all the colors. There. Next, I go ahead and start turning on my red color. Okay, so basically for this one, um, red on. I will go ahead and turn on only my red. And I will make some delay for a, for a second only. Next thing that I need to do, um, how about green? So for green, one moment, green on. For green, this is the only high. And that's it. How about for blue? I'm sorry. For blue. And blue on. So I'm already... Uh, we have um, three colors already. I'm still lacking another four, right? So I decided that aside from these color, which is currently present, which is the red, green, and the, and the blue, um, I will be inserting yellow, okay? So for yellow, uh, we need to combine the red and the green, right? So I need to make sure that I'm turning on the, sorry, this is for yellow, um, red on, uh, uh, red on, then green on. There. I need to make sure that the red is high and the green is high. Am I right? Yes. Okay, next. Let's proceed to another color. Since we're already four, I already have four colors here created. Um, how about cyan? Right. So for cyan, we need to turn on the green, of course, and the blue. Okay, for the green, I need to make it high. For blue, I need to make it high. And another delay. One second delay. Last two colors. Um, how about purple? Right. So for purple, I believe I need to, uh, one moment, uh, I need to turn on the red and the blue, right? Yeah. Okay, there. So red, it's high. Blue should be high. And another delay. And lastly, one of my favorite colors, um, I will be inserting white na lang. Okay, so basically for white, I need to turn on all the lights. Okay, so basically for this one, I need to make it high. High for red, high for green, and high for blue. Here we go. I already have seven colors um, created. Let me try testing. So let me click the start simulation and let's see if it will work red green blue yellow cyan purple white there you go it's working okay so i'll be saving this one one moment i think i'm already project six i think um rgb yeah rgb there. Okay. We need to proceed to. Ah, okay. I forgot. I also inserted um, the codes in the PowerPoint presentation or in the PDF file that I linked in our Google Drive. Okay. You may also refer to that one. Okay. Next. Uh, we will be changing um, the colors randomly. 
So how can we do that? Uh, we will still be using the same. Um, we will still be using the same project. Um, we will just need to change the codes. Okay. So for this one, um, I need to remove the, the codes inside the loop and I will start creating a new one but I need to initialize um, the rval to 0 rval this is the red value this is needed later on the g val we need to set it as well to 0 and also the b val we need to set it to 0 next um yeah we're all good with this one since um the rgb is intended for um output it's not an input so this is good let's go ahead and proceed with our void loop so inside the loop function um um the rgb can also um can also uh, we can also use the analog signal from the RGB okay not um, RGB can also do both digital and analog so this time I'll be showing you an analog way on how to uh, to use the RGB okay so first thing that I need to do same with digital right um, I need to do digital uh, analog right so for analog right I need to call the value of the pin which is the red one and the R val, which is zero. And by the way, for this one, um, basically this applies the PWM, meaning um, it's pulse with, um, sorry, I forgot the meaning of this one. Okay, it's pulse with modulation. So basically this, um, this is for the pull duration that's why we need to do this or rpm okay analog right since i'm done with red let's proceed to blue Va val analog green hmm. there you go next Again, um, this, um, uh, the line of code 17 to 19, um, this will help us apply the PWM or the pulse with, uh, with manipulation, uh, sorry, um, pulse uh, with modulation output to each leg of the RGB LED light, okay? So with the value stored in the corresponding variable, that's why we initialize the r val the g val and the v val okay next we also need to um do the since it's randomized man so we need to have the r val we need to have we need to use the function random with 0 to 255 meaning just like in your buzzer uh, I believe that you use up until uh, from minimum value is 0 and the maximum value is 255, right? Next, our val, we, can, we need also to do that one for our G val, B val, and the G val for the green value, okay? And lastly, I would like to put some delay, for example, 500 or this is equivalent to 0.5 second. Um, the purpose of this one is to delay um, before changing the colors so that we can see if it changes or not. Okay? So, I believe I'm done with my codes already. So, I think we can proceed right now in simulating it by clicking the start simulation. And let's see. Red there you go so it randomly pick a color based on the value um, 
based uh, based on the value um, captured by the random type of function. Okay.